Welcome to June's LECO Challenge. Today's problem is surrounded regions. Given a 2D board containing X's and O's, capture all regions surrounded by X. A region is captured by flipping all O's into X's in that surrounded region. If we're given a board like this, we can see that these zeros, this island here, is all surrounded by X's. So we want to flip all those into X's as well. The only remaining O will be at the border. Reading the explanation, it says surrounded regions shouldn't be on the border, which means that any O on the border of the board are not flipped to X. Okay, so that's big. When you start looking at this problem, initially you might think, oh, we could have some variation of the counting islands problem and just make some recursive calls to flip all zeros into X's. But how do we know that it's surrounded, right? Rather than focusing on what's surrounded, Try thinking about, okay, how can we figure out what islands here are not surrounded? And in order for that to be the case, one of the O's have to be on the border, right? So forget all these zeros in the middle. Um, rather, why don't we check all the board, uh, cells on the border, right? So the first row, the last row, the first column, and the last column. And if any of those are O's, we could recursively call to check to see if anything horizontal or adjacent to it is also a no, and mark those to say, hey, this one's connected to uh, O on the border, so don't flip this. Otherwise, flip everything else, because if it's not connected to a border, considering that it's an island, then it wouldn't um, be unsurrounded. It would be surrounded. So that's kind of the approach that you need to think about. This is very similar to the counting islands problem, but rather than caring about just uh, going through every single cell, all we need to do is worry about the first row, the last row, first column, last column. And if any of those are O's, then check recursively to see if any of the connecting, if it's connect, connected to any O's and mark that somehow. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark those by making it something other than an X or O. I'll make, make it like a C. And after I check to see which ones are connected to the border. Then I'll flip through the whole, I'll iterate through the whole board and flip the ones that are connected to a border back to zero. Otherwise, if it's a zero, we'll make that an X. So we'll flip those back to an X. So let's first initialize some variables here. Let's call height, and that would be the length of the board. What about width? Width is going to be the length of board zero. and what if in case they don't give us a board, it's an empty list, we can just return not, um, return nothing. Okay, so now let's make our health me method. I'm gonna call it mark. And all we're gonna input into here is the row and column. So what do we wanna check? Well, first we gotta make sure that's not exceeding the borders, right? So for uh, make sure that if R is uh, greater or equal to zero, and less than the height, and the column is greater or equal to zero and less than the width, and make sure uh, we're going to check to see if this guy is a zero, right? Or a O. And if that's the case, then we want to recursively call, okay? Uh, well, first we got to mark it. Let's first mark this cell, um, and we'll just call it C. We'll say, okay, mark it as C, and now we'll make a recursive call. Um, first up, up, and then down, then left, oops, and right. Okay, so this is going to be our recursive helper method. And what it will do is flip all zeros connecting O's into C's. And that's going to be our marker. Okay, it's cool. Now what? Now we have to do, we're not going to do this for an entire entire board. We only want to do it for the first row, the last row, and first column, and the last column, right? So first row, last row. And how, how can we do that? Well, let's just say for are in, let's make it a list and say zero to height minus one. 
And we'll just make that list so that we can do it for the first row and last row. And we'll do what here? We'll say for C in with call our recursive method. Okay. And the same way we want to do it for the first column and the last column. So for C in, we're going to do the exact same thing with minus one for R in height. And I should say range. Oops. We'll do the same thing. Call R and C. Now finally, now our board should be marked with X's, zero O's, and C's, right? So this is our final go through. And what we'll do here is if it's a C, we'll flip it back to an O. And if it's an O, we'll flip it to an X. So range of height or a column in range of width. We'll say, hey, if board, if this cell is equal to a C, let's flip it back to a O. Otherwise, if it's an X, or I'm sorry, if it's an O, then we want to flip it to an X. And we don't need to return anything, as they mentioned above, because we're changing the board itself. So let's first see if I've made any typos. And it looks good. So let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. So this is how I solved it. There are possibly better solutions, um, but it's really just a variation of the counting island problems. The only thing that might trick you is to think, oh, okay, let's find the surrounded regions. But if you focus on rather the unsurrounded regions, then this problem becomes a lot easier. So thank you.